Hi all, welcome you to the introductory tutorial of Packet Tracer. In this video, I will show you how to create a basic network. As you can see in front of me, there is the Packet Tracer screen with one question typed on it, which I'll guide you through in this video. Create a logical network with two PCs and a hub. This is the most basic network which we can create to connect two PCs using our hub and ping both the pieces together to check the connectivity whether the network which you have created is working fine or not and simulate the network traffic by sending the ICMP PDU. PDU, PDU is protocol data unit to send the message from sender to the receiver and in the third stage we will view the ARP tables created after we have transferred the PDU from the sender to the receiver. So this is your workspace work area which will be will be using to create our topologies. This is the menu bar and on the lower corner you have the devices, routers, switches, hubs, connections, end devices, we will be learning more across about these devices across the video as we move on further and on the right side we have some more options like to place a note, to delete any selected object, to inspect, to add PDUs, so we will move on further, first to create a network with two PCs. I'll click on end devices and it will show me some options here of the various devices which I can choose. I'll choose the PC, general PC, generic. As I need two PCs, I will select one more. Just choose and drop here and you will see the PC. We need a hub also. So I'll click on hub and place it here. I'll choose generic and then place it here. Your network is not complete until you connect all the devices. So I'll click on connections and then I'll choose copper straight through cable. Choose port fast ethernet. Connect it to the hub port 0. One more copper straight through trick cable. Choose another port, port 1 and connect it to PC1. Fast Ethernet port. You can arrange the topology. It just seems a bit congested so I'll just align it properly. You can see these are the default names which are given to the generic devices like PCPT PC0, PCPT PC1, Hub PT Hub0. You may also notice the green lights being shown here which indicates that your network till now is configured properly. If your lights are amber in color or red, in the indication is that there is some problem in the network. So I'll start here, I'll first rename these PCs. Let us say this PC is being used by someone who is working in the company in the sales department. And this is the PC being used by someone who is working in the company's marketing department. So I'll name it as sales. This first PC as sales and this as marketing. Then I'll click on it and I'll go to desktop. I'll click on IP config. In the IP address I will assign 192.168.1.2. Click on the submit mask. Let it be the default which is assigned. For the timing we'll continue with the default subnet mask. So this is the IP address which has been assigned to the second PC that is the marketing department PC we have chosen here. Similarly we need to assign the address to the sales PC, desktop, ipconfig, static, 
192.168.1.1 Subnet mask Close Now once we have assigned the IP addresses we need to confirm the connection has been established whether it is ready to transfer the packets or not So what we will do Click on it in the desktop tab, go to command prompt and from first PC ping the IP address of second PC. The second PC's IP address was that is marketing department PC's IP address is 192.168.1.2 and enter. You receive the reply that means the connectivity between sales and marketing PC is fine but we will have to verify from the other side as well whether you can ping from the marketing the sales one click on it command prompt ping the IP address of the sales PC 92.168.1.1.1 enter you receive the reply. So if you receive the reply from both the sides, congratulations, your network has been set up properly. The connection is working fine. So now we move on to the second step that is simulate the network traffic by sending the ICMP PDU. To complete this, I'll have to go to the simulation mode which is on the right hand lower side of your screen. Click on the simulation mode. Click on edit filters. You will see many of the protocols named here. But as I require only to send the ICMP PDU, I will click once on show none and then choose ICMP and click somewhere else on the screen. And then I'll choose one PDU. PDU will be a packet which will be I will be transferring from the sender to the receiver. In this case, I'll be taking sender as the sales and receiver will be the marketing. So I'll choose the PDU here and I'll choose my source that is sales and my destination that will be marketing. I'll drop the PDU at the marketing and then click on auto capture and play. You will be able to see in the event list on the side the communication between the PDU as it is being transferred from one device to another. From sales to hub 0, from hub 0 to marketing, from marketing back to hub 0, from hub 0 to sales again. And in the event list, once all the communication is there, you will also be able to see successful. You can see here I have selected that successful. Now what is remaining is the third part viewing of ARP tables. I will go back to the real time mode. This is the inspect tool we have. I will click on the sales and ARP table. This is the ARP table you will be able to see. The IP address of the marketing PC is mentioned here in the ARP table and the MAC address along with the interface through which it has to communicate with that device. To reach marketing PC it has to go via sales. Fast Ethernet port. Similarly you can do here ARP table. 1.1 the MAC address 192.168.1.1 is the IP address of the sales PC hardware address is 00d0.5818.2ee9 and interface is fast ethernet you can also click on port status summary table it will show you the IP address link is up up means it is functioning properly if it is down that means there is some error you will have to troubleshoot it. IPv6 address we have not set. MAC address as it is mentioned. 
DNS line number we have not used any, so it is not there. We'll do all these things in the upcoming videos. The one thing which should be noticed here is when we saw the ARP table, we saw the addresses of the devices with which we had to communicate. See, the this is the table which I have opened, port status summary table for marketing. For the marketing, the IP address is 1.2 with along with default subnet mask that is slash 24. And MAC address is 00E0F9E0.326, which you could see when you clicked on the ARP table of the sales table. This entry is made so that next time when it has to, when sales has to communicate with the marketing PC, this will be the address which will be, this will be the table which will be referred. Thanks for watching the video. This finishes off with this tutorial.